Mama's Boy by Avery Flynn is a romantic suspense novel, the first entry in the Last Man Standing series. This fast-paced story introduces us to Dixon Flynn, a tough, no-nonsense detective who has returned to his hometown of Harbor City to care for his mother as she recovers from a stroke. Dixon is known for his unwavering loyalty to his family and his formidable reputation in law enforcement. As Dixon settles into his new role as caretaker, he learns of a series of murders that have been plaguing the city. The victims are all men who have been accused of hurting women, leading the media to dub the perpetrator the Vigilante Vixen. As Dixon investigates, he can't help but become fascinated by the case. It's personal for him, too, as his own sister suffered at the hands of an abusive man. Meanwhile, the reader is introduced to Tessa O'Malley, the owner of the Doe and Go Bakery. Tessa is a fiercely independent woman with a tough exterior forged by a difficult life. Having grown up in a troubled home with an abusive father, Tessa learned to fend for herself and protect her younger sister at all costs. Her bakery is not only her livelihood, but her sanctuary. Tessa and Dixon's paths cross when Tessa becomes a suspect in his investigation. As Dixon spends more time surveilling Tessa, he soon realizes that although she fits the profile of the vigilante Vixen, there's much more to her than meets the eye. The chemistry between them is undeniable, and the lines between professional and personal quickly begin to blur. Dixon's unyielding sense of justice conflicts with his intense attraction to Tessa, and he's torn between duty and desire. He struggles with the moral dilemma of whether to trust his instincts about Tessa's innocence or to remain steadfast in his duty as a detective to follow the evidence. As Dixon and Tessa get to know each other, they find a mutual understanding rooted in their shared experiences of family trauma and their dedication to their siblings' well-being. Tessa's relationship with her sister is strained due to the secrets she feels obligated to keep, which include her own vigilantism. Tessa wages a silent war against men who abuse women, a cause to which she's fiercely committed and which stems from her past and the inability of the system to protect victims like her mother and herself. Their relationship deepens as Tessa helps Dixon navigate his mother's emotional and physical recovery, connecting with her in a way Dixon hasn't been able to. Dixon's mother, a formidable woman in her own right, sees something special in Tessa and encourages Dixon to reconcile his feelings for her with his duty as a detective. Inevitably, the investigation heats up, and Tessa's life is thrown into peril as she is targeted by the real killer, forcing Dixon to confront his feelings and decide what he's willing to risk for love. He must sift through the accumulation of evidence and his knowledge of Tessa's past to find the true identity of the vigilante vixen, convinced that while Tessa may be a warrior in her own right, she is not a killer. The suspense escalates when Tessa's bakery is vandalized and her life is threatened, it becomes clear that she's being framed for the murders. Dixon is now in a race against time to protect Tessa, clear her name, and catch the actual perpetrator. His investigation reveals a web of corruption and deceit that has allowed the guilty to remain free while the innocent are punished. As they come closer to unmasking the real vigilante Vixen, Dixon and Tessa's bond grows stronger. Tessa eventually confides in Dixon about her own vigilantism, explaining that while she sought to punish the guilty, she never killed anyone. Dixon believes her, convinced by her honesty and their emotional connection. In a heart-pounding climax, Dixon and Tessa confront the true murderer, a twist that exposes the killer's motive as a twisted sense of justice, akin to the vigilantism that Tessa harbored but never acted upon lethally. They manage to subdue the killer just as law enforcement arrives to take them into custody. The novel concludes with the restoration of peace to Harbor City, and with Tessa exonerated, she and Dixon are free to explore their relationship without the cloud of suspicion. Tessa's relationship with her sister improves, and Dixon's mother fully recovers, providing a sense of closure to their familial issues. Dixon's perception of justice is forever changed, allowing him to see the shades of gray in the world rather than the black and white lens he had always used. Ultimately, Mama's Boy is a tale of redemption, love, and the willingness to step beyond one's own prejudices and preconceptions. 
It showcases the power of human connection in healing past wounds and suggests that sometimes the heart's discernment must guide the pursuit of justice. With the real killer brought to justice, Harbor City is safer, and Tessa and Dixon look ahead to a future filled with endless possibilities, knowing they have each other's support against whatever challenges may come their way. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.